Most organizations in Durango conduct their business here. It provides a stronger, more secure signal than your average walkie-talkie. Next on the list of amenities, the drop-off point. If somebody asks you to get something, the drop-off point is where you deliver it. Sending survivors to a tamed island without some guidance can be a death sentence in a place like Durango. You won't last long without learning some new skills, and that takes practice. How about you finish some chores I've been meaning to do? I'll fill you in at the communication center. job. Really, I mean it. It's not easy, but you have to get used to it. In Durango, it's kill or be killed. Why don't you head back to the camp? Your meals might feel weird at first, but you'll get the hang of it. I apologize for the interruption, Kay, but is that a fresh batch of survivors I hear? It sounds as if you're helping them hone their survival skills, showing them the ropes, as it were. Ah, Lamar. I was going to contact you eventually, but it looks like you saved me the trouble. Allow me to introduce our most eccentric pioneer, Dr. Lamar. He educates when he's not eavesdropping anyway. You'll find a lot of people here share that habit. Oh, well, it's not as if the dropping of eaves is a uniquely Durangonian vice. I just can't help but get excited when I hear someone trying to better themselves. You've plenty of work to do, don't you, Kay? Perhaps I could be of service? That idea's not half bad. What do you say? Lamar knows a thing or two about surviving in Durango. Then it's settled. They're all yours, Lamar. Wonderful. Now, where to begin? 
as you may have discerned, I'm Dr. Lamar. I consider it my privilege to shepherd new denizens of Durango on their way. It seems you familiarized yourself with the basics of combat. Why not expand your repertoire with a body tackle? Well done! Thrilling, isn't it? After all, Durango is a land of many mysteries, and Radio University is the key to unraveling them. All right, Lamar. That's enough higher learning for now. It's my turn. Copies make a great snack, but we're not the only predators who know it. Here, I'll explain at the communication center. Something I want to show you just north of the camp. If you see my stuff, that means you're on the right track.
Pretty impressive, huh? You wouldn't believe what it cost me. But it was worth every T-stone. Though, the company may not agree. Anyway, let's get cooking. Compies are best with a little char on them. Yep, it's fire. It cooks things. Anyways, you don't have to be a master chef to make a skewer. I'll show you how at the communication center. founded Radio University in the first place. Now, it may seem a bit preposterous. A university in an unchecked wilderness ruled by prehistoric beasts. But all of human civilization shares the same origin. One must master the wild to move beyond it. Master the wild? We can barely survive it. You ask me? Civilization is overrated. Besides, Durango isn't as bad as you make it out to be. I'll take it over Earth any day. Oh, I'm not saying the untamed wilderness is without its virtues, Kay. I understand civilization has its shortcomings, but you must acknowledge its advantages. Radio University is our chance to restore the benefits of the modern world. Surely you understand, given your proclivity for reading. Fair enough. You're all just trying to live a normal life. Normal for Earth, at least. We're getting sidetracked. Go to the communication center.
Oh, you're a disciplined worker. We could use more of that in this world. Much more. Say, I've been developing a special curriculum at Radio University. All it lacks is a pupil to test it. What do you say? Are you up to the task? Sorry, Lamar, but could you please save your sales pitch until after we leave the safe house? <laughs> Fair enough. I mustn't rush you. Everything in its own time, after all. We'll be able to talk at our leisure once you reach a tamed island. And don't worry, I'll wait. Being a great teacher means very little if you are not blessed with a great student. Boy, he sure loves to talk. Let's wrap this up before he starts quoting Shakespeare at us. If you want to be a real pioneer, you gotta dress the part. Time to play Taylor. Go to the communication center to learn more.
ready for the runway? Try it on, see how it fits. You've come a long way. In fact, I think you're ready to head out on your own. Now, I can't have you claiming land on company property, but you can put down roots with a domain on a tamed island. Good thing they're just a raft right away. Or an amazing hot air balloon right away. <laughs> I'd be happy to help you out, but I don't have any fuel. Let's remedy that. We have to make sure it burns nice and hot, so tell me, what kind of fuel are you gonna get? Branches, leaves, stalks, logs. Yep, that'll do the trick. into the hot air balloon and go find a tamed island to call your home. Lamar and I will be in touch. <laughs> you know, I read a lot of books. I wish I had some kind of quote to send you off. How about explore, dream, discover? Anyways, the hot air balloon is waiting where we met before. And good luck. <laughs>